Hello again. I'm not entirely sure when it became a convention in British politics that the post of Home Secretary and Chancellor of the Exchequer should be reserved for people who are not white, but it seems to have become a definite thing. This can hardly be coincidence or sheer chance, as a quick and easy calculation will show. Roughly 85% of people in this country are white British. This means that about one person in six is foreign or from an immigrant family. If we assume that posts in the Cabinet are allocated purely on merit, without regard to skin colour, and that black people and those whose families are from South Asia are as capable and well qualified for such positions as white people, then the chances would be roughly six to one against any particular ministry being given to a non-white MP. So the odds would be six to one against a non-white person getting to be made Home Secretary. The odds of ending up with both Home Secretary and Foreign Secretary being non-white, all else being equal, would be about 36 to 1, and of Home Secretary, Foreign Secretary and Chancellor all being non-white, the odds would be perhaps 216 to 1 against that happening. The new Home Secretary, Foreign Secretary and Chancellor may be seen in the thumbnail to this video. It is pretty obvious that some factor is at work to buck these odds and ensure that the great offices of state are taken by men and women who are not white. As to what the reason could be, I have no idea at all. If the aim is to show that the new Prime Minister is with it and up to date and doesn't notice skin colour, then it would hardly be necessary to fill all three of the most important posts in the government with people who are from immigrant backgrounds. Just one would have done. Is it to show that anybody can succeed in modern Britain and to demonstrate this to the country? It might of course be that those three people were uniquely suited for the roles which they have been given, but the odds are very much against that. The only conclusion I can draw is that Prime Ministers these days feel that they must have an Indian woman as Home Secretary and a non-white person as Chancellor for reasons which are simply not clear to me. One immediate problem with this approach is that the Home Secretary is ultimately responsible for controlling immigration into the country, and this is not lately being done in a very effective way, to say the least of it. Is it reasonable to expect somebody whose family are themselves immigrants to have the same loyalty to this country and sense of British identity as somebody whose family have been established here for a thousand years. I think not. The new Home Secretary's parents are from Kenya and Mauritius, and her grandparents are from India. In other words, her family have not settled anywhere for more than a single generation. They are cosmopolitans who move from country to country and even continent to continent, seeking advancement and economic advantage from Asia to Africa to Europe. It seems unlikely to me that somebody from such a background could really understand the deep and abiding love of the English for their country. Some of us would not hop off to another continent no matter what the inducement offered. This is our country. I wonder if any viewers can suggest the reason why so many of the top cabinet posts lately seem to be allocated to those from immigrant backgrounds, for I confess myself foxed by the question. <laughs>